Hello everyone, B.O.B. here, and welcome to another episode of Labcraft. And as far as progress here, there hasn't been any. <laughs> but I do have a plan today, and that plan, well, I mean, it's not only getting into a little bit of redstone stuff, but I'm, I may or may not open a new shop. Uh... First things first is deciding where to build this new redstone contraption. And I got a little opening down in there that I think I might make use of. Um, I want it to be somewhat somewhat lower in the ravine. It doesn't have to be all the way at the bottom. But uh, I want to be able to plant uh, sugar cane up above. And this was like a, like a naturally generated cave in here but i think i could maybe open it up make a little doorway down into here and this would make a, a a nice area for for this uh farm that i'm putting in okay and i did open this area up just a little bit i'm probably gonna like make this like a full stairway probably fill in this hole a lot of this underneath is gonna get dug out anyways um but this right here is about the perfect size uh, for the farm I want to build. Uh, I, I kind of just left the natural shape of the room. Uh, I might I might change that up just a little bit uh, after the farm gets built. But I'm going to worry about decorations then. Uh, I'd hate to like decorate the room and then have to tear part of that decoration down just to build the farm. So we'll build the farm and then decorate the room around it. Now to start this farm, I am going to be putting in some water sources right in here. So let's go ahead and just use ice to do that because, I mean, that's the easy way to do it, right? Full of water sources. Who can guess what I'm building? And if you, if you know what I'm building before I finish building it, type it in the comments. So we got our water pulled. Now we're going to go ahead and put a few pistons on each side. This farm is actually going to have... Two collection chests, one on either side. And let's go ahead and have some hoppers feeding into those. Uh, now I'm going to just go ahead and probably use some smooth stone to build a little structure around this thing. And this is the part that's going to give it away. I'm going to place some coral blocks in here. Yeah, a lot of you probably figured it out by now. Uh, but I need to build up more of a structure. Okay, and I got a little bit of a structure built around it here. And I'm going to need a dispenser facing down. And we'll get rid of the temporary block that was there. And the next thing I'm going to need is a water source right here. So that way I can put another piece of coral right there. And of course, you probably guessed it by now what I'm building. Pickles. Pickle farm. And I think I'm going to try and make a business out of this. I feel like I could sell sea pickles. I mean, people would probably buy them here and there. Um anybody has any big like underwater lighting projects i'm sure they could use lots of those so uh yeah bone meal powered picker pickle farm uh i just gotta run some wiring into it i think uh i'm gonna have this operate kind of like my super smelter does where it's oh let's do yeah that's it i'm out of room um yeah i'll, I'll clear some space out above this later but uh the whole idea is it's going to be uh whenever i put bone meal in it is is when it's going to be active uh so eventually when i do get a sugarcane farm put up i'll have a couple fields worth of sugarcane and have one of those fields just feed straight into the pickle farm so it'll automatically produce a whole bunch of pickles for me but I'll go ahead and finish running the redstone real quick and we'll get this thing fired up i'll show you how fast it works Okay, so, so it took a little fine-tuning, uh, <laughs> but I think I do got this up and running now. Be magical scraping on me, but uh, 
basically it, it's going to be like, yeah, as soon as it's fed, it's on. So if I pop some bone meal into this hopper right here, the farm activates. And so we come out here. And you see it'll bone meal a bunch. Might need to slow down that clock just a little bit. Yeah, that's a little better. As you can see, the pickles are just rolling in. I might still even slow down that clock a little bit more, but yeah, there, it's out of bone meal. Um, so yeah, what I'm thinking is, uh, over on this side, uh, while well, I started working on, I'm going to build a bubble tube and have, have it so I can just like drop my bone meal in a chest over here and it'll feed into the bubble tube and automatically feed into the farm. But also, um, up above, I plan on building a sugar cane farm. And Be Magical was just digging around up there. I hope he didn't leave a bunch of dark caves. But I suppose it doesn't matter because I'm going to be digging all this out anyways. Uh, sugar cane's going to go into this floor. And I'm going to have a couple fields worth of it here. And yeah, like I said, one field gonna feed right into that thing so that's gonna just constantly be producing pickles um, I'm probably gonna produce a whole bunch more head on over to the shop well gather some materials head on over to the shopping district and I'm gonna build a shop okay and if we have a little look here I have constructed the pickle pond um, uh, I'm selling pickles one diamond per stack and if we have a look in the barrel <laughs> i didn't even finish decorating the place and be magical came by and bought by and bought nine stacks already this is fantastic uh and i know at least one or two other lab crafters have has said they wanted pickles so uh, i'm actually going to run back to my pickle farm and, and get the stock to replace those that i've sold and I still actually have to uh, go pay for this plot. So I'm going to do that. Then I'll run back to the pickle farm. And here we are at the giant stack of iron. And it's like, I don't know. It seems like there's blocks missing out of here. I, I don't know. Maybe that went into a community project that I didn't know about or something like that. Uh, hopefully people aren't just taking blocks of iron that don't belong to them. But I'm going to go ahead and add my 10. And there we go. So now, three shops, all in the same neighborhood here. Ah, that floating wood. I, I do believe that was Be Magical's leather shop that got taken down. Or somebody's leather shop that got taken down. And, and, and the wood's just floating there. I think I want to chop that down at some point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, did, I wanted to go with something subtle. Uh, since I was placing it right next to my other shop here, and I fit it in the 10 by 10 space. So all my shops are in the same neighborhood. Hopefully this one will make me some more money. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, going back to the pickle farm. But before I do, being that pickles are already selling, and I, I already did come over here and, and buy these, buy some of these ones. I think I'm going to buy another five stacks. I mean, five stacks of bones is quite a bit of bone meal. That's going to produce a lot of pickles. Uh, so it's it's totally worth it for me to spend a diamond on these. I mean, the, pick, the pickles have already paid for the first five stacks I spent on them. So yeah, I'm going to buy another five. And then that way I can produce a whole bunch more pickles once I get back over there, even though I'm sure, well, I know for a fact I have enough, that's not the chest I want to, this is the chest I need to put pickles in, all right, I know for a fact, though, that I already have enough pickles to restock the shop, and then some, but I want to make sure there's plenty of pickles, I mean, if they're going to sell like that, definitely want to make sure I have a stock supply. Now, it occurred to me that, uh, I didn't actually show how this farm works. I mean, I, I showed the farm working, but I didn't exactly show how it works. But yeah, if we 
you see that the pistons are breaking the pickles. And I, I'm still not happy with that timing. Uh, I, I got to adjust that a little bit. But uh, well, long story short, I don't know if I can get back up here. Uh, so we got a comparator comparing the signal from this uh, dispenser. And that's tr triggering this piston to extend that observer. And there's another observer above that. So there's an observer clock powering uh, the dispenser. And then that same redstone signal turns off this redstone torch, turning on this redstone torch. And that uh, actually activates this uh, much slower clock than the observer clock. And then I just have the pistons on the other side offset by just a few ticks. And, and it's not... I can't even get out of here. <laughs> and, and, and this timing isn't exactly how I want it. They, they should be sending the pickles back immediately. Um, or it should be sending the blocks back immediately, and it's not. So I, I gotta work out the timing of that a little bit, I think. Uh, but, I mean, I ain't too worried about that right now. Maybe if I adjust that a little bit. But, uh, I mean, this does work quite well. Produces a, a lot of pickles very fast, though it does eat up a ton of bone meal. Um, I mean, that's alright. If, if bones are... <laughs> Uh, five stacks for a diamond it's well worth it plus like i said i'm gonna build a sugar cane farm up top and or up above it and i built a little uh auto bone mealer up there already because i used a bunch of my crops and stuff to produce some bone meal i could just show you um to come up here and i'm gonna end up clearing out a lot of this space but i have a little auto bone mealer here and that's going to feed right into this dropper, which if we look down in here, that hopper is the one that feeds into the pickle farm. Um, so basically, like I was saying before, I'll have a field of bone meal or a field of sugar cane just to feed directly into that system. And then that way it'll it'll produce a lot of pickles for me. Well, I mean, I don't want to say really fast because the bone meal won't produce very fast, but... I can always, well, as long as they're in stock, buy five stacks of bones and turn that into the, like 15 stacks of bone meal, and I get myself a ton of pickles. So, um, yeah, I'm going to tweak the timing of this a little bit, and as you can see, I'm getting a little bit of loss in there. I'm not exactly sure what to do about that, aside from just jumping in the pool and grabbing the pickles out of there. Uh, but, you know, this is going to work for now. If I gotta do this and my inventory is full of pickles <laughs> not quite but close uh, at any rate this is gonna stock my shop and well it's already making me some diamonds so I, I, yeah I'm, I'm I'm liking this setup I definitely want to tweak this farm a little bit uh, I'm not exactly sure how I'll probably work on that off camera but I'm going to take these pickles and take them back over to the shop and make sure they're all stocked up. See, this is more like the timing for this thing. Uh, breaking them pickles a lot faster so we're not firing off bone meal for no reason. And well, as you can see, they come flowing into the chest a lot faster. And this is only half the collection. I mean, uh, they collect over here as well. <laughs> so, yeah. This thing will hammer out them pickles, and I do have to get in there and, and pull them out every now and again, which is kind of a hassle. Maybe I could think of an easier way to do that at least. I don't know any other way, though, to get them to flush out completely. Strange thing is, this uh, this wasn't always true. At least I know it wasn't true in the, uh, in the old PlayStation edition, but I haven't built, I haven't built a pickle farm since then. But pickles now produce water sources uh, when when they grow in a new spot, like the same way kelp does. And yeah, I don't know if that was something that, that was always true in bedrock, or if it was just uh, 
added. Like I said, I know it wasn't true in the old PlayStation Legacy Edition. <laughs> As a result, I had to design a whole new type of pickle farm that I would have used from back then. But, you know, uh, this is this is working. It's not exactly ideal, I don't, you know, it's, but it produces more, it collects more pickles than it loses, I think. So, uh, I'm okay with it. Either way, like I said, this is going to stock the shop. And there we go. Freshly stocked. Um, I'm not going to worry about putting an ender chest at this shop because it, <laughs> there's one right here uh, for the ender vendor. Um, so yeah, people could just use that ender chest if they need one. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Shop up and ready to go. Farm up and ready to go. And that, well, that pretty much wraps up this episode. And so my friends, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. And if you're interested in seeing more from me, consider subscribing as well. I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching and wish you all a wonderful day.